would be nice sitting in bars, have a drink or two, listen to the jukebox. And soon all the faces of the people turn towards mine and they smile. <laughs> and they're saying to us, We don't know your name, mister, but you're a very nice fellow. Harvey and I warm ourselves in all the golden moments. We've entered as strangers and now we have friends. And they come over and they sit with us and they drink with us and they talk to us. And they tell us all the terrible things they've done and all the wonderful things they'll do. Their hopes, their regrets, their loves, their hates. All very big, because nobody brings anything small into a bar. And then I introduce them to Harvey. And Harvey's bigger and grander than anything they offer me. <laughs> and when they leave, they leave impressed. Most of them never come back. But that's envy, my friend. A little bit of envy in the bust of us. It's too bad, isn't it? How did I get to call him Harvey? Well, well Harvey's his name. How do I know that? That's an interesting story, Doctor. It really, uh, there's a coincidence behind that. You see, one early evening, many years ago, I'm walking down Fairfax Street between 17th and 18th. I just put Ed Hickey into a taxi. He had been mixing his gin with his rye, and, well, <laughs> I felt that he needed conveying. Anyway, I'm walking down the street, and uh, all of a sudden I hear this voice calling my name. Good evening, Mr. Dodd. Well, I turn around, and there's the six-foot-tall rabbit standing against a lamppost. Well, I thought nothing of it, because uh, when you've lived in this town as long as I have, <laughs> stands the reason people know your name. Anyway, naturally, I walked over to him, and I talked to him, and he says, Oh, Ed Hickey was a little bit spiffed, or am I mistaken? Well, he was not mistaken. I think the world of Ed, but he was spiffed. Anyway, we talked about that for a while, and uh, then I said to him, You have the advantage over me, mister. Uh, you know my name, but I don't know yours. Well, here is it. He looks me straight in the eye and winks, and he says, What name do you like? Well, I didn't have to think twice about that. Harvey's always been my favorite name. So I said to him, I said, Harvey. Well, you know what happened it is really, this is the interesting part of it, Doctor. He says, well, that, that's a really amazing thing. I, what a coincidence. My name just happens to be Harvey. Harvey.